Got one. Hey there, everybody. How's it going? I'm Adam. This is Go To Outdoors, and I am happy to welcome you back to another one. I noticed while I was doing the editing for this video that the part where I did my usual intro actually got corrupted and I lost some of it. So, doing an intro for you right now. So, let me set it up for you. Went back down to the Aquaquan River with my buddy Grady. This was back on May 28th and had a pretty good day. For, you know, there was a shorter day, kind of zipped out after work. It's kind of spur of the moment. So, it's just like, you know what, let's go see what happens. Mm, slight chance of rain. We risked it anyway. Very glad that we did. So let's get into it and we'll see how we did. Oh! I just got fing snapped off. I set the hook and I got. Son of a. That felt good too. Damn it. That felt real good. And that was 20 pound fluoro too. That pisses me off, man. I'm going back in there. I don't like losing a shit like that. I'm gonna throw it. You wanna throw this stump coming into the water here? Go for it. Both of either of them. Let's go head up to that bridge. Is this the water snake? Yeah, That's about two foot long. It is. Yep, just a banded water snake. They're pretty things, they really are. You want to chuck in here? Okay. All right. I'll try that thing and get smoked. I want you to catch the first fish this time. <laughs> first snake, anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to make sure my uh, camera's aiming in the right direction. The snake's still up next to us. Got one. Oh, that's a good bass. That's a good bass. <laughs> a bass. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> oh man, that's a good fish. Oh no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Come here, come here, you pretty girl. Come here, pretty girl. Come here, pretty girl. Gotcha. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it just fell out. Huh? Yeah. Wow. That's a pretty fish, man. That's a pretty fish. I thought I told you you to get the first one. <laughs> Three pounds, ten ounces. Three pounds, ten. That's the biggest fish of the year for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was a fish right there that I missed. Probably at a better angle than I did, but I definitely just missed the fish. Got one. A little bit smaller. The second it hit the water, he choked it. A little uh, Molotron. Want one? Z-Man uh, uh, Wedgetail. 
I put it on because I want a striper. <laughs> That's about a pound. Yeah, I'm a pretty little fish. Bye, buddy. And now I hooked my groin. It's not good. <laughs> That's another one I pretty much just threw the dang thing right into his mouth. He was sitting in that pocket and just slammed that wedge tail as soon as it went over. I know there's striper in here. I know there's striper in here. Pick this one because it's got some gold flash in the belly of it. I was hoping it'd have a little something. What's that? That's one. Yeah, he slammed it. Come on, fishy. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Number three. Number three. All right. Oh, man. He clobbered it. That was a hell. Oops, sorry. That was a oh, oh, I just came off. He had the tail wrapped in his teeth. <laughs> Right behind that rock there. There's probably another one. Ah, oh well, that's three. I'm counting it, it was at the boat and I touched the fish. <laughs> oh jeez. Shad just scared the crap out of me. The shad just scared the crap out of me. I'm gonna see if I can get a little farther up than I was last time. Because if there's cormorants and herons here, there's gotta be something. And if there's something for them to eat, there's something for the bigger fish to eat. Ah, it's just snapped off. Dude, it, it bent out my swivel. Look at that. Whatever just hit me up behind that rock just bent out my swivel. Damn. I'm tying direct. That was nuts. He hit it and as soon as I struck, it was done. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Destroyed my swivel. I'm hoping that wasn't my only shot at a striper. Something hit me again. Yep, something definitely hit me. I'm folding the pants down. Something definitely hit it again. I knew there had to be a fish up in there. It's probably a smallie. I'm hoping it's a smallie. Don't know what it is. Striper! Stripe bass, baby! All right, species number 16 on the year. This is actually the reason I came here today. I wanted to catch me a striped bass. I wanted to catch a little striper. Ouch, 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 ouch. He thumped it. A little baby striper, diaper striper. Camera time. Pretty little guy. See ya. I'm gonna get another one of them. I wanna get a bigger one. If there's little ones in here, there's bigger ones. And if there's bigger ones, I can bring one home to eat. Man, he destroyed that. All right, come on, let's get it straightened up. You like that little wedge tail. What did he... Dang. There we go. That's fixed. That was another hit. 
There's something that just flipped right there. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Yeah, a little bit better, not much. Another striper, I bet. That is a little better. I gotta be 20 inches to keep, I believe. Ouch, he's gonna throw that hook into me. Just trying to help you, buddy. Let me help you. A little bit better, that's probably about 14 inches. Beautiful fish, look at the, the blues in it. Such a pretty fish. Later, buddy. Go on, quit faking. There he goes. He dragged me over the rock, but that line doesn't feel too... Oh, there it is. Uh, should I risk it? I'm wondering if uh, a bigger striper is what actually took out my uh, swivel earlier. Because they were light swivels. They weren't too big, the ones I was using. I don't know if I have any other uh, line. Leader material, I mean. Well, that answers that. Where did that snap off? Where did that snap off? Right at my knot. Well, that sucks. I don't know if I have any other leader material. That was a gar. That's what that was. That's a better, oh, what is that? What is that? That's a new species. That's a new species. Oh no, it's just a really, really dark. What is that? Man, these are dark. Ah, oh, stop it. Just a really dark, healthy bass. He's gotten stuck before. Yep, that one wasn't for me. Huh. Still a healthy fish, very healthy fish. He's eating well. Throw there's a couple shad in there. Later, buddy. <laughs> nice. There's gotta be more fish up there. Big old guard just turned right there in the current. I can't believe that. That might be what snapped me off a couple times. Come to think of it, that could very well be what's been snapping me off. Ah, I found a little weeds. It's a good sign, it's healthy. Very healthy, a little ecosystem in here. Where's that gar? That's gotta be that gar. Flipping and splashing behind me. One more cast. And then I'm going back down. Or at least going over there. Yep, going over there. Yep, there's one. Another bass, another healthy bass. Another very healthy bass. In the boat, in the boat. Another very, very healthy little fish. Right up underneath those rapids again. 
All right. Later, buddy. Well, you don't leave fish to find fish, and I gotta go find Grady, so. Uh, one more cast, one more. <sighs> Put my hood up. Oh, that breeze feels nice. I love the action on these things. Good news is, I know all I get it's a half turn on this thing, gets it a, a full walk. I'm gonna go up against this stuff over here. I got 65 pound braid and 30 pound fluoro, so if I snap off, it's on me. So where do you get hit with the Chad Chad? Yeah, like where have you been getting hit with it? Yeah. Probably closer than I'm throwing. Probably closer than I'm throwing. Got one! Chad! Uh, about a two pounder. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that was a good hit. Later, buddy. That was cool. First Chad Chad fish. He hammered it. That was cool. Okay. Okay. I get it. I believe it now. I believe the hype. I believe the hype. A lure. I would have expected it to be for musky catching a, a bass. It's two less than two pounds probably. Gizzard Shed strikes again. I'm gonna go find Grady. <laughs> that was cool. Parker 220. That's a good looking boat. 2120. Parker 2120. If they even make it anymore. That is a cool looking little boat. I like these this style like uh, walk arounds. See, I don't do enough fishing in places that were, would require a big center console, but I could fish the shit out of one of these things. Tri-State Marina, on oh, Tri-State Marine. I'll have to check them out. Yeah, it's gonna miss us. It's gonna miss us. It's gonna be a little breezy for a few minutes. I'm just gonna hang in tight behind you. Well. It's been a good day, but I think uh, due to the rapidly changing weather conditions, the growing storm, the thunder that has definitely come back with a vengeance, um, I think it's about time to make like a baby and head out. So we're zooming back to the launch right now. Yeah, but it's been a good day. Got another species, so call that a win. I'm up to 16. I know I did not actually, oh, I'm very, very shallow. I gotta turn before I hit something. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't uh, have my camera with me. I was just fun fishing, but I managed to catch that red breast sunfish yesterday. So I will uh, post a photo of that right here. 
And yep, I am hitting the bottom. This is very, very shallow. I need to move out. Uh, very, very shallow. The geese are all hanging out over here. Um, I think Grady and I are the only two out here that have a lick of sense because uh, there's nobody else that's getting off the water. And that... Hear that? You hear that? That's not good. That's bad. That's very bad. It's very unsafe. Ooh, goslings, they're adorable. Seen a couple of them today. Um, yeah, I'll be back. That's some serious boomage. That's some serious thunder boomage. Hey, geese. This is the same duck from last time. It's a resident duck, and there's a couple of Milardos. Yeah, the same Cayuga hybrid duck from last time. And that is a beautiful duck. And we did see that uh, gadwall earlier. I believe it was a male, fully plumed up, but that was pretty cool. Honk, honk! I'm bigger than you and I'm coming through. <sighs> All right. I'm soaked. I got a little bit uh, moistened in my expeditious putting away of all of my gear. <laughs> kind of rushed my way through it. Um, everything's just thrown on the truck right now, as you can probably tell. But yeah, uh, fantastic day. You know, the apart from the weather, which should not have shown up the way it did, weatherman was full of it once more so yeah that, that storm came in quick and it came in a lot harder than i thought it was going to as soon as we heard that first really good like staticky crackle then boom yeah time to get off the water no questions asked uh safety number one priority do not ever ever fuss with that but uh yeah so five five fish on the day five or six i mean biggest bass of the year so far three pounds ten ounces and change um the other two I caught were, you know, not that big. Um, no, I got the other one on the Chad Shad. That's the one that surprised me. That fish, I don't even think it was two pounds, and it hit a Chad Shad. That's amazing. So, guess I got to start throwing that thing more often too. Ridiculous. But uh, yeah, the diaper stripers. That is species number sixteen, striped bass. Uh, species number sixteen out of fifty on my list. So that means I've got uh, thirty-four to go. That just tickles me pink. I was trying to get some shad. I saw those gar. And uh, those are two more species that are, of course, on the list. Never know what's going to happen with them. But uh, I can't complain at all. Uh, this was a spur-of-the-moment trip. Loved every minute of it. And we'll be coming back. But don't really have too much else to say about it this time around. But that's about all I got for you today. So like I always say, thanks again for watching. Make sure you find a reason to smile today. And I'll catch you in the next one.